welcome. This is the energy vibration lesson for the heart, the energy vibration reading for the full moon for the earth people. I want to say thank you for being back. Thank you for being here. I want to say um, thank you for returning. And please like and share these videos. Like, share, share, share. Just share these videos however way you can share them. It is very good to have these information because a lot of people have been even asking before I was finished doing these videos, where is the extended reading for these videos? So I want to say to each and every person out there, I want to express my gratitude. Um, and uh, all I can wish you guys is really good health and a lot of money and uh, um, happiness and abundancy because you guys are really support me on my journeys and I want to say thank you. Um, it is good um, to um, check out what is going on around you guys, okay? Um, because there is a lot of changes that is coming up and earth sign people are going to be feeling it. There's going to be shift on this earth earth sign um, people are going to be feeling it okay so um please remember to get the extended reading use the link down there here or there to get it if you'd like to do a private reading use the link here use the link here or you <laughs> i love you guys okay um you guys will not know this is like my third time doing these reading seriously 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 let me check my mic before i go any further yes i have done these reading this is i don't even want it it was just not meant to be so heart sign what do you have angels and guides archangel annual the goddess and god and goddess of the moon universal angels and guide of what is here for the earth side people month of november okay so love is in um, um confusion in yourself um confusion over something some of you are going to be confused over something that is in the first house thank god it's in the first house but because when this is in um the sixth house or the house the seventh house so, yeah mm -mm, thank god Ooh, la la love is in your second house Ooh, okay but for the taurus love is in your second house but it could be that you are a love of money so people you got to be aware of this love is in the second house i am so glad that love is in the second house for you guys all righty the sun is in the third house. A lot of people are respecting you. A lot of people are realizing what you're doing and standing up and respecting you. A lot of eyes is going to be on you, hurt sign people, whether at work, but in your environment, a lot of highs. People are having respect for you. People are really having respect for you. And family, um, there's a lot of communication. I'm seeing communication in the family, whatever is happening, and transparent communication is definitely coming up in the family. Then we have, you are going to be finding your North node. You're going to know exactly what you were meant to do. You are going to be finding the passion in what you were meant to do. This is who you are. And you're going to be finding your North node um, in your house of passion. We have the, uh, um, the outlook on um, a lot of you are going to be start looking and wondering, am I in the right career field? Am I in the right company? Am I... Um, you know, vibrating. Is this what I was meant to be? So uh, career wise, I'm seeing a lot of people um, um, is in the ascendance. It's as if you're wondering, is this where I was meant to be? Secrets in relationships, marriages, secrets, the energy of the moon is here. Secrets in relationship, marriage and legal issue. There are secrets. Luck is in um, the house of intimacy. This is wonderful, wonderful, positive luck in the house of intimacy. So I'm seeing whoever you're going to be con connected to an intimate luck is in that area. Cryon is air in the ninth house. The ninth house is the unseen. The ninth house is on his um, foreign situation, things that you're not aware of. And I'm seeing an healing. So there could be an healing of if someone was sending you a negative energy, if there was blocks. I'm seeing the blocks breaking down and the healing is coming in. Saturn is in your house of repetition. I'm seeing a huge um, um, 
challenges and if, especially for Capricorn um, this is your house this is your planet whoa your repetition I want to see what is going to be happening because I'm going to be seeing what is transpiring because so Capricorns um, and for the rest of you the Virgos you're going to be to start wondering about your career now um, Pluto is in the house of the Aquarian whoever is Aquarian could be removing out of your life some of you could be at the edge with an Aquarian okay some of you could be really on the edge with Aquarian and the 12th house what we have in the 12th house we have Neptune in the 12th house this is the house we have Neptune in the 12th house this is the house of the Pisces okay Neptune in the 12th house this is the house of the Pisces I'm seeing some of you are going to be having luck with Pisces whatever is happening um, Pisces has fall in their 12 houses so Pisces are going to be helping you earth sign people I'm seeing some of you luck um, with unseen um, Pisces are going to be helping you um, it could be um, if you have a um, Pisces um, like in meditation you could be connecting with Pisces or Pisces are going to be helping you to understand Easter egg, um, you know a spiritual things and that sort of a thing a Pisces could be coming in your life to help you to transpire your world okay so in your first world the, you're in yourself there's a lot of conflicts it's like some of you are trying to figure out where is it that I want to be where is it what is it that I want to do do I want to be connected with this person do I want to connect with that person whatever that is happening and transpire I'm seeing the the energy of the transit of the world okay then I have the energy of uh, love in the second house all right so we're going to be seeing all right so I'm seeing you having confusion with an Aries whoever this Aries is you're having some confusion an Aries is trying to make you confused you gotta protect yourself from this Aries this person is just effing sick whoever this Aries is they're working they're paying other people or they're doing these negative forces for themselves okay and it is so it's as um what the hell is happening okay so it's it's, it's, it's it's as if whoever this Aries is is trying to make you confused but you know the power of the universe and um, that people don't don't understand the universe there is not all there is not everyone that you can use negative energy to affect and educate yourselves okay you can't use negative energies to affect anyone neither can you kill someone so I'm you know I'm, I'm letting you know whoever you are that is doing these negative um, things um, not everyone in the universe because we're not the same okay so um, whatever you're doing you're kind of sick you know and uh, um, get, get get a hold of yourself who are you to think that you are the only powerful person or you are the only one that is supposed to survive why are you using negative energies to block other people that you're the way you are you choose the way to be who you are you are very sick and as far as I'm concerned people when they find out what you're doing I hope they make sure you remember what you have done to them okay so what is happening earth sign people you're dealing with an Aquarius and this Aquarius is trying to make you to feel a little bit off balance off cast uh, of uh, you know kilted and so whoever this Aquarius is and if you're in a relationship with Aquarius end that shit because it's not going to be healthy for you um, um, earth sign people you don't do well with Aquarius people okay they're good but that's it they're a little bit off especially um, they think that they because they're in the house of the self the first house they create like other obstacles for other people because they're so selfish because they think that they should and that is the reason why they're like that because they're so selfish and they think that they're the only one to survive look at look at school when you go pick up your your and, and whatever is happening at school how Aquarians behave and it's about time they they, they 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 understand that they were born under the sign so that they can heal that selfish part of them and to realize that other people are here also to, to survive be aware of what is to inspire and hurt people if you're in a relationship with the sun with, with the Aries and the relationship seriously not healthy and uh, um, in the second house you are dealing with uh, love someone could be meeting someone who's very rich um, especially you um, 
Tauruses, you could be read, meeting someone who's very rich. This person has money, and I think you're going to be merging um, both your monies together. And uh, whoever, th there is going to be money and love. Not only love and money, but money and love, okay? So whatever is happening and transpiring, there is going to be money and love in your world, and this is going to be good. It's looking like a very, very... I have, I have I've done these reading four times because the the voice the volume didn't comes up so I had to do this like my four time so um that means by the shift and the angels uh, yesterday was 11 11 all of that and I did them over yesterday and the so that mean that wasn't the message because of 11 11 shift you can't do anything before or after and this is a full moon energy and that is why this is the most beautiful reading that came up for you guys out of everything so i i granted that this is the message that is supposed to come out okay so love is in your financial your money section your assets so you're going to be merging with someone and this is going to be um making things um really really good for you okay so i'm seeing the virgos are going to be helping the rest of you sign the virgos are going to be helping the rest of you sign the energy of the sun is here the virgos are going to be helping the rest of you signs whatever is happening and transpiring i'm seeing the virgos coming up and helping the rest of you guys um and this is going to be good because i'm seeing the virgos are going to help you guys to bring success for you okay in your environment and around you some of you could be um connecting with a virgo a virgo if a virgo is a good friend this person is going to make you very very successful in whatever you're doing your environment is going to be looking up at you some of your virgo um is going to be falling in love with you a virgo is going to be realizing you know really what you're doing is just so wonderful i love virgos uh, um i love all my earth signs um four hours of communications i'm seeing some of you um taurus is again coming up with communication i don't know there is something with you guys and communication because in one of the readings i can remember that you're communicating with your partner so whatever is going up there so communication is going to be the key for family, but especially for you, um, Tauruses, communication is going to be the key. You got to be aware of what is happening. You, um, Tauruses communicate very clear in the family area, whatever is transpiring, let your family know what it is. Communication with your family is going to be very good. Okay. So I'm loving this because I'm seeing, because the Capricorns love the family and Virgos is like, okay, I can do without you guys. But anyway, if I have to communicate, so I'm seeing this happening. Scorpio it is in your um, Scorpion. Some of you are going to be co connecting with a Scorpion in the house of pleasure. Okay. It's okay. Go ahead. So this could be a scorpion friend. Um, this could be someone who want to reconnect with you. This could be a scorpion. Um, this could be a child returning in your life. If you have a scorpion child or a friend or a sister, this person could be uh, returning in your life because it's as if this person is a part of you and they're in your north node. So that means you're very, very connected with them. So it could be um, a very good girlfriend, a very good um, boyfriend, or a mother or a father that is a scorpion that is returning in your life so that you guys can heal a situation. So I'm seeing a scorpion coming up and you're going to be having a lot of fun with this person they were meant to be. Um, you're going to have in a, like, a lot of fun and a, a lot of positive feed for this person. The sixth house, the sixth house is coming up the house of ascendant, the ascendant outlook. And we have the energy of the Lebron. Um, and what is transpiring in your work, I'm seeing um, that you're trying to figure out um, what it is. Do I need to do something else? Do I need to expand this? What do I really need to do? Is this um, what I'm going to do for the rest of my life? So I'm seeing a lot of you hurt sign people kind of taking a step back and kind of figuring out, is this my career? Is this what I want it to be? How do I want it to be? Do I want to grow? Do I want to change? Do I want to go back to professional life? So th there is just a lot of stuff that is going on. And I always advise people when they ask me, I always say, do your three dimensional career and balance it out by doing something to help humanity. Okay. That that's how I live my life. I, 
I am I am an accountant so I live my life like that because I have to deal with the three dimension and then I really balance out myself okay so try and figure out how you do that because it's going to be wonderful all right as we move forward I am seeing relaxation i'm seeing secrets about a gemini whatever the issue is and the situation is i'm seeing secrets about a gemini so whatever that has happened whatever that has transpired some of you could have been um very close with a gemini and this gemini think that you know it's a secret and they want to use it against you and you're thinking really but we you know i don't see that i just see that you know we're very close we do things together but uh did you have all of that in your head wow i wasn't aware of that so i don't have anything against gemini but i think that this gemini think that they have a secret and they're going to try and we're going to see because then we're going to be looking at the fire sign and the sun sign so i will advise you but whoever this gemini is they think they have so much secrets and you know um the energy of uh, partnership um some of them have secrets you know and it's like uh, and maybe they're secret lovers to you guys and you weren't aware of them maybe they're really truly in love with you and they're keeping this as a secret so as i look at the fire sign people and the moon sign people we will understand what is the secret that this gemini is older the eight house of intimacy i'm seeing a jupiter expanding with the pisces okay so I'm seeing a lot of you are going to be having um, intimacy with the Pisces. I'm seeing your luck is coming back with the Pisces. Whatever is happening, whatever that was um, transpiring, I'm seeing you and the Pisces reconnecting. And um, a lot of luck is coming in your the relationship. So let's say for a time there was no, no sex going on and that sort of a thing. I'm seeing... Um, you both finding yourself back to each other. So I'm seeing you and a Pisces is going to be knocking it up. Okay. A lot, a lot. Bam, bam, bam. Mm -hmm. Enjoy. Crying is in the house of foreign situations. Okay. So some of you could be dealing with uh, a cancer overseas. Um, some of you could be really dealing with a cancer overseas because this, um, this cancer comes up and this cancer is uh, um whenever cancer crying and the cancer some of you are having a healing with with a cancer some of you could have been in a relationship with a cancer and some of you could be finding out that a cancer has been working negative energy and now there's a healing because you know and and um um, um my friend hacks me he goes well, it's elf, elf, elf. Aren't you going to um, create any magic? I said, no. I said, I tell people about these things, but I don't do that sort of a thing. I swear. I love burning candles, but it, it, it's, it's not for, I just burn candles. I never ask anything. I don't do magic. I don't. It's, it's a, as if, because I know I when I was in Atlantis, um, the first civilized, one of the first civilization on this hurt. I was a magician. I was a little girl. I can see that every time that I, um, go back to a past lifetime to see that past life in Atlantis, because most of us who are here as light workers came from the Atlantean times. Okay. So I like go back and I always see myself just sitting down there, just using my little magic wand and, and, um, and so I know I, I, I'm very good at that. So, but I don't, you know, and I, I'm like, I was like, aren't you going to break? I'm like, no, I'm like, I don't even know what I want. My birthday is up, coming up. I don't even know what I want. So I don't, and you know, people, why I don't believe in this is because I think that, uh, and, and, and this is it. There is a certain group of people that gives away their power on this hurt. Okay and they know the magic of the heart of magic and they gave away their power by doing black magic and dark magic and the thing about it is that these people have no idea what they're creating for themselves and their kids and that sort of a thing 
And what is transpiring now? If you think that you can use magic to manipulate everything and everyone around you, you have no idea what you're in for because it's going to come out and people, and especially, um, there are people who says, I don't believe it. I, I believe in magic. I know that it is there. You know, there was one thing my grandparents says is that, you know, we know that there is light and darkness, but as you keep love, in your heart, there is nothing that can overcome you. And I always live by the rules and the books. And I remember one day, um, my girlfriend take me to this lady and she was, she was like, wow, your family is just like, they don't, they don't get, um, connected with your cult. I said, no, why? Cause we know that it does ex exist. You know, why, why should we, um, full up believe in it? And most, most of my family is like, um, you know, they go to church and the rest of it. I don't believe in the church because the church is controls you. Okay. The church controls you because the church wants to tell you how to live your life. Basically, we are all here on a journey, ladies and gentlemen, and we need to find that journey. Okay. So don't let the church and that sort of a thing controls you. So I'm seeing some of you are having some healing with a cancer, whoever this cancer is, whatever has transpired between you and this cancer, a cancer might be returning in your life that lives overseas or abroad. They might be asking for forgiveness. Alrighty, Saturn, Saturn. Oh my God, Saturn. Okay. Okay. Capricorns back up. All right. Capricorns, you have to help the rest bring balance in their reputation. Okay. So whatever is happening with the Virgos and the Tauruses, you're going to be picking up for the Virgos and the Tauruses and bring in balance and helping them to balance out certain situation in their lives to bring back their reputation. But for you Capricorns, uh, I'm seeing Saturn coming up and is moving through, but it's good. It's good. It's not in the reverse, which is good. So if it was in a reverse, that means Saturn is just going to rip out things. But I'm seeing is, is, is as if you're saying, or you're showing the world and said, listen, I don't care who you are and what you think about me. You have no opinion about me because you don't know me. Okay. And I'm seeing you really just, uh, representing yourself in such a diplomatical way that people are, 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 are like, okay all right all right um so i'm seeing you picking up and being the um teachers and the leaders of the world and this is what earth sign was actually meant to do is be the teachers and the leaders of the world because this is your planet you are born under this sign because the universe and the sources and your angels and guides know that you um, have what it takes to be an earth sign person to make sure the vibration of this hearth, the shift happens. And Saturn, you know, Capricorns, your birthdays are coming up and, um, Saturn is between the 15th of November to the 15th of December is in your Zodiac, um, sign and it's in your house of reputation. Now I'm seeing you guys like whatever people were saying about me, Whenever you don't know who I am, you have never had a conversation with me. I don't need to have your opinion. And this is how the Capricorns are going to be just moving in. Cause the Capricorn is like, um, you know, I abide by all the rules and regulation. I stand out of chaos. Capricorns don't like chaos. Okay. A Capricorn can say for hours talking, laughing with a girlfriend, but you know, once things become start chaotic and that sort of a thing, Capricorn doesn't like chaos, less chaos. Um, you have a positive Capricorns and this is what is transpiring. And I think Capricorns are working on themselves because they're getting ready for the Jupiter that is coming in their sign. They're about, they're like putting down the groundwork because they know that they're going to be, um, exploding you know, and you know, the people who are trying to, um, block a Capricorn, get ready, get ready. Cause guess what? Your black magic witchcraft or whatever shit you're doing ain't going to stop a Capricorn with Saturn. Cause this is the last run of Saturn in, um, your house of, um, of repetition, um, Capricorns. Saturn is in your house and what you're doing um, you Capricorns are helping the Tauruses and the Virgos to rip out whatever that no longer, um, is creating, 
um, a difference and Capricorns are going to be the leaders along with the Le the Virgos and the Leos. That's what you were meant to be leaders of this planet, teachers and leaders of this planet. And you're going to be starting to show people, um, you know, don't try to cut me down when you don't know who I am. Okay. Don't try to, um, um, you know, disrespect me when I don't know who you are. Because I will take you down. And that's what Capricorn is saying. All right. All right. As we go to the edge, we see community groups, creativity, humanity, all festivals and that sort of a thing. I'm seeing Pluto transit and the energy of the Sagittarius and the voyage. So what is transpiring is that some of you are going back to basis. Whatever is transpiring, death and rebirth, you're going back to basis. I'm seeing you reconditioning yourself and you're going back to basis i'm seeing sagittarius and the voyage i am seeing that some of you are moving a sagittarius out of your life it's as if you know something i've had enough of you now it's time for you to move on and this is going to be good because whatever is transpiring and whatever is happening you're moving the sagittarian out of your life and you're saying hey let this shit go okay because I no longer wants to play your game. I'm not interested anymore. Okay. So whoever Pluto is and whoever the Sagittarius is, I think you come to the edge of this person. And you're like, you're for tomorrow. Bye. So you're letting go a Sagittarius out of uh, your life. The 12 hours of surrendering Neptune and I'm seeing a Pisces surrendering. Um, I'm seeing some of you going to be working with a Pisces liberation. I'm seeing you liberating and surrendering an Aquarian. So if you're in a relationship with Aquarian, I'm seeing you liberating and surrendering your, an Aquarian. Um, I'm seeing you experimenting and trying new things and doing new things. And this is going to be good for you. Okay. So this is wonderful. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, whatever is transpiring um, with you guys and the Aquarians, um, whatever um, the karmatic thing is, I'm seeing really you guys and Aquarians, it's not really working out. Okay, it's as if you're like, hey, um, just please, um, I'm surrendering, you know, whatever it is, I'm praying for you, uh, move on, let go, because I'm not dealing with it. Now, the Capricorns who have the Aquarian side is going to take over the Aquarian side, as you get into the month of December, going into January, I'm seeing, I gave a video about that. I'm going to give a more extended video, okay? Because there was someone, yeah, but a Capricorn, you said January 14, but a Capricorn changes, yes, five days before, and the cups, um, the, 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 the pre cups, oh my God, you know, this is it, ladies and gentlemen. You need to understand astrologue and if you don't understand astrologue and this is why i do these things and i break them down so easily for people to understand because when you realize that you're cutting more than you're balancing out yourself then you're realizing that you're shifting to the aquarian sign which is the 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 hair sign okay so you are a cardinal sign you're capricorn so you're always balanced so when you realize you start to cut and you start to get very irritating then you know you're um moving on the other side okay all right, what I'm going to do is that I am going to be doing um, the energy of uh, mm, 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 the energy of the sun and the moon. Alrighty, and um, if you are born um, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., you are a sun person. If you were born 6 p.m. to 6 a.m., you are a moon person. So whatever the issue and the situation is and whatever that was transpiring, you got to understand and you got to know what exactly is trans transpiring. And you got to find out where this is going, basically. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, um, let's move in and see what's coming up for the sun sign, a heart sign people for um, the full moon of November. All right. So we're calling in on the guides and angels to show us what are the message for a light beam, universal angels and guides, gods and goddesses, unicorns. Okay. So 
for the sun sign people i'm seeing you are going to be overcoming a situation with an aries whoever this aries is and whatever is happening you're calling up on universal angels and guides to remove this aries out of your life and whatever this aries has been doing so i'm seeing some of you asking for healing because it could be a situation on the work floor where um uh, you're you're not aware that this this area is is is, is um dealing with witchcraft and and whatever because get uh, okay sorry to say and you know i'm not sorry to say because people need to know this the most people that work witchcraft is uh, fire sign people especially the aries uh, and the aquarians yeah strange weird shit eh? yeah but yes it's true because they always want to have they're jealous people and they always want to have everything that other people have so they think by using witchcraft when nobody is knowing what they're doing that's out this if you notice you always see aquarians um coming up in my reading and that sort of a thing because they work with other any they, they work with other energies but it's the easiest thing because Aries people they always pretend to be so nice and the rest of it but they're so jealous for what you want it's like i have my best friend my best friend when i was in florida came down um from north carolina to visit me and um he met my my cousin that is an aries and he he told me a lot of things i was like it's kind of not nice but yeah we're we're both psychic and for don't yeah he was on target everything that he said um to me about my cousin everything so there we go and what they do is always they're like church people are like uh, be very peaceful but trust me you don't want to know when they're going to pay to get your shit down to against you so you gotta be and people think i'm against aries but aries people know themselves you know they are um you know and and there's nothing wrong because um i am like i cut like you know capricorn people they cut like a rat they they are going to say things now aries don't say anything they just mess you up with um uh, black magic <laughs> and it's not all of them to be honest because but um some you gotta be aware and obviously someone is having some issue out there with this aries is doing black magic but it's going to be over because the sun comes out meaning your spirit guides is realizing where the negative force is coming from and they're going to be healing you okay wow all right so some of you could be receiving some in inheritance or money that you weren't aware of that was there for you now whatever that was transpiring some of you a leo could have stolen this money okay a leo could have stolen this money and um now um the leo has to return it um and this this is like karmatic situation sometimes people take things from you maybe you have owned them in lifetime before but this leo is a situation where this is Leo. Um, some of you could be returning and merging your houses with a Leo. And it could be that you have this money or they have money for you. And now you're merging together to make and to heal the situation. Okay. So sometimes like you meet another person who is very financial stability, you're coming together. And especially for um, the um, Tauruses, you are going to be meeting someone who already have their business and merging together um is going to bring you a lot of success okay so it is good um it's in your money section so your money is going to be good alia tried to steal from you whoever this leo is and whatever is going on this leo is very deceptive okay but um it's going to be okay because they're going to be finding out what has transpired all right so virgo you are going to be oh virgo ladies people are going to be the highs are going to be on the virgos and especially on the ladies whatever is happening and transpiring you virgos um the eyes is going to be on you this is going to be good because whatever is transpiring you virgo ladies are going to be very successful in your environment i'm seeing virgos really um 
opening up to the truth or letting people see whatever perception they have so in your environment at work you're going to be very successful you virgo ladies um virgo ladies stand strong because this is very good because this is in your house of perception so it's people around you is going to be seeing you in the spotlight for the rest of you i'm seeing success coming up in your environment the people around you whatever you're doing it is coming over good for people and this is wonderful wow sun sign people all right so we have some luck um so you sun sign people have some luck with a taurus in um the house of family some of you have some um situation with a taurus luck with a taurus in the house of family i'm seeing the clava um this is good whatever the issue is and the situation is i'm seeing you're going to be having some luck with it and, and taurus is you're really going to be having some luck communicating so whatever is transpiring in the family taurus's luck is here um i saw that in the readings also before that so for you taurus luck is here with communication now in the family i'm seeing a lot of you are going to be having lucky breaks with people in the family communicating and this is going to be good so if you're asking them it could be yeah um what if we're having for christmas what is going on at christmas it's going to be good so that's coming up in the house of passion i'm seeing that a scorpion is coming back in your life whoever the scorpion is and why are they coming back in your life is because of money okay so um a scorpion could have known that you're going to be receiving a lot of money and they're returning in your life all of a sudden all of a sudden um this um scorpion out of nowhere is coming in this scorpion could be a child it could be an ex it could be a sister it could be a brother it could be a mother or a father or a cousin but whoever this person is is quite close to you because they're in your north node so it is someone Whatever the issue and the situation is, people are coming back. People who you used to have fun with and so it's coming back. And whatever is transpiring is that this person knows that money is coming in. And this is why they're kissy kissing. Okay? So money is going to be in your house of passion for you, sun sign. That's good. In the house of career, I'm seeing people trying to figure out what, you know, where is it I need to be? Okay? where in the world what is it that i was meant to be where in the world what should i do um should i change something about what i'm doing now you're going to be very graceful especially at work you're going to be very very graceful and i'm seeing the end of a karmatic situation to work is coming up so if some of you were dealing with some karmatic issue lies and deceptiveness on the work floor i'm seeing that this is coming to an end the truth is coming out people are talking um, information are coming out and the truth is coming out so whatever the issue and the situation is I'm seeing um, this really happening and this is coming out so this is good okay the Gemini's are in the house of uh, the seven house of relationship and I'm seeing some Gemini's could be some um, having some secret uh, love thing going on with you all right and uh, um, um, I'm seeing some of you could be pregnant with a child from the Gemini, but whatever is transpiring, I'm seeing a Gemini want a new start. A Gemini could be secretly want a new start with you. A Gemini secretly wants to have a new start with you. Somehow this Gemini, um, I think this Gemini is really, they think of you to be the one. Okay. And they secretly wants a new start with you. Some of you, um, a Gemini, um, could want to have a child with you but this is coming up as secretly a gemini secretly wants to have a new start with you honestly and i think that if a gemini is pushing your buttons is that this gemini secretly wants a new start with you okay then we have jupiter and luck with the pisces in the house of intimacy the house of investments i'm seeing Cut new contracts i'm seeing sex i'm seeing inheritance uh, kundalini rising the world some of you could be connecting with um, a pisces and yeah unexpected luck is going to be coming in so um yeah the house of sex the eight house is all about worldly thing it's it's about sex but it's about contract but it's about mystery 
It's about obsession, inheritance, and that sort of a thing. That is where your luck lies, earth sign people. And this is beautiful. So go check out the extended reading to see where your luck lies as a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Because here in the general, it, it lies in the house of the intimacy. Okay, so you got to be aware. And it's a, a Pisces is going to help you to bring your dreams, wishes, and dreams come true. Okay. So this is really good. Pisces are here. Pisces are good people, really. All right. So let's go to the house of crying with the cancer, whoever the cancer is, whatever the quest is. A cancer might be teaching you some religious thing, a cancer. All right. So what we're seeing here with a the cancer, there's a whole lot of gossip with a cancer. You're going to be having some healing with a cancer. Whoever this cancer is, they want to have healing um you know a cancer might think shit i have done something to an earth sign person and now it's biting me in the butt yes you know um cancers like to hold on on things whatever they like to hold on on things and they like to spring out uh, at someone not knowing exactly what has transpired you did something and someone just um a heart sign is just going to kick the cancer back so whoever is in a relationship with a heart sign or has left a relationship with a earth sign i'm seeing they're still talking about it and they want to have a healing with you and i'm seeing that um some of you um your partner who is uh, um could uh, or someone a friend could be now in a relationship with a cancer and they're going to be calling you up and said can we come by and you're going to say no 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 earth sign no this cancer is going to be calling you up because they want an healing do they bloody want an healing no they don't really want an healing okay because this the cancers are people who hold things against you cancers and scorpions they hold things against you and when you least expect it they just snap you in the back of the head nope say it's okay i have no time i'm sorry my schedule is busy find something to do go read a book all right so in the house of reputation i'm seeing some clouds okay so um be aware um there is some clouds and there is um um there is some clouds sagittarius is coming up with your reputation someone wants to ruin your reputation so be aware sun sign people um this means dark clouds and it means that uh where the cloud the sun for sky to, um that means that people are trying to mess up your reputation but i'm seeing especially for the capricorn watch out for the rest of you the capricorns are going to be helping you out okay then we have pluto in the 11th house pluto is bringing a transition a voyage um pluto want independence pluto want to let go of things pluto don't want to have uh, so Pluto, if there was a Sagittarius who love you, I'm seeing Pluto removing this person. You're coming to the edge with this person. Whatever there was, I'm seeing you're coming to the edge with this person. Pluto um, is going to be moving this person out of your life. Whatever the issue is and the reason is, but this person is in love with you. So I think that this person might be, you, you know, coming to the edge is the 11th house where friendship groups creativity but pluto is here but whoever this person is they're still in love with you whoever you are out there they're still in love with you because um they're still there they're the love of your life or whoever this person is they are the love of your life okay so um even though pluto is gonna bring transition but the love the, the love that they they hold for you with the sagittarius is not going to go away okay wow okay let's oh la la peace peace is coming in peace is coming in with uh, you and an aquarian so whoever uh peace is coming in between you and an aquarian now, whatever this issue is with this Aquarian, I'm seeing peace coming in between you and this Aquarian. Whatever that was happening and transpiring, I'm seeing peace coming in. And it's as if the spirit guides are healing whatever that has transpired. You got to be aware of this um, Aquarians. Um, it could be that you're surrendering this Aquarian. And um, by surrendering this Aquarian, 
you are finding inner peace okay so you're letting go of something surrendering something and then you're finding inner peace and this is going to be much better for you guys so whatever you're doing that you need to release and surrender out of your life does it because you're going to find inner peace okay you're definitely going to be finding inner peace so 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 okay so let's go um all right so i'm seeing um positive energies especially with health if you are having some health issues you're going to be feeling much much better um i am seeing growth um healing and luck is going to be coming up for a lot of uh, virgos um a lot of luck is going to be coming up for the virgos then i'm seeing money coming in someone all of a sudden you have a lot of money and all of a sudden someone just unexpected if someone unexpected pop back in your life or unexpectedly you receive some a lot of money and someone just popped up don't you know you finish and karmatic issue with a child some of you were dealing with a karmatic issue with a child you're finished this karmatic issue with a child and you have some luck and you're moving forward there's a lot of luck that is coming in and a positive outcomes to a situation i'm seeing communication and people are really gossiping especially the cancers really gossiping and trying to ruin your reputation okay but you know the little bugger <laughs> i give that i give that laugh when people try to mess up other people but the little bugger if every if, if you people tell her secrets or their secrets you're like back the fuck up okay so i'm seeing clouds between there are clouds between you and uh, a sagittarius if you're in love with this person especially the capricorns and the sagittarius i see saturn and pluto in the area of the uh, of um Sagi. so um i think this whoever is um who was married to a sagittarius i think they're still in love with you um you are their heart chakra okay you are the one they were meant to be with okay and i think you know if everything just um blows up they're going to be there to pick up the pieces because they're in love with you still but peace is coming between you and the sagittarius peace is coming between you and the sagittarius okay all right, guys, we got to look at the moon, people. Alrighty. Oh, God, this is going to be a long video. Heart sign. Okay. All right. So we're moving on to the uh, moon, people, and see what, what is coming up. We are definitely moving on to the moon, people, and see what is coming up. We are moving on to the moon, earth sign people to see what is coming up for the moon, earth sign people for the month of November, moon, earth sign people, month of November, moon, earth sign people, month of November. All right. So we have some secrets coming out. So some secrets going to come out about an, uh, an Aries. Go check out the online reading. Okay. I do this for sun and moon. So if you're Capricorn, I do uh, the general and then the sun and moon, okay? So then you can go back to the general and see what else is going to affect you. So go get it. Go pick it up. I'm seeing conflicts with your financial stability. I'm seeing peace in your environment. I'm seeing love coming up in family. I'm seeing the energy of people in power with a scorpion. Um, I am seeing you come at a crossroad with a Pisces in the sex area. I'm seeing a child, you're releasing a child. I'm seeing the end to an Aquarian. Money is in your house of reputation. All right, so is it good or is it, is it bad? So money is in your house. Luck is in your ninth house. Okay, so this is wonderful. When luck is in the ninth house, luck is in the ninth house, you have luck with a situation with a cancer and an healing is going to be coming in. So that is good. So whatever is happening, I'm seeing um, secrets. There's something about secrets or a book. There's something about a secret about a Taurus, a Aries, and a book, okay? So some of you could have some secrets about an Aries. So I am seeing a Scorpio is going to return in your life uh, um, because 
it could be a parent a scorpio parents could be returning your life i'm seeing luck um with a cancer because there's an healing it's as if there was some deceptive things that has transpired so this cancer could be a parent a family or whoever because it is in the house of the 12th house where it is foreign issues and situations i'm seeing conflicts news is coming in about money conflicts news is coming in about money and it has to do with your reputation um the energy of the sun um the lily peace comes to an end with an issue with a child um a child could be going in surgery love and um in love there is going to be especially for the Tauruses I'm seeing you making a decision in love and you're bringing um, you're bringing a a cross you're ending you're ending something in your life that no longer surrenders you because I'm seeing you surrendering and whatever you are surrendering um the inventor now you're surrendering something and it has to do and it affects an aquarium okay so in the self i'm seeing you having some secrets about um an areas at your work that you're trying to figure out should i tell the truth what is happening or and i would say tell the truth tell the truth because this person is doing things underneath and is trying to um, pull the wool over everyone eyes let them be aware of who this person is okay tell the truth I'm saying you speak you you speak a secrets and conflicts but peace is coming in and I'm seeing love is going to be coming in too okay so I'm seeing some of you really speak the truth I'm seeing you Tauruses are going to be having conflicts with a Leo when it comes to money I'm thinking a Leo is saying or someone you were in love with or married or they are going to be there's conflicts in your house with a Leo or with a lover Taurus so you gotta be careful a lot of you are having conflicts because some of you found out the secrets or told the secrets about someone uh, it could be with a cancer okay um, um peace come for you Virgos um, you Virgos are going to bring peace for the rest of the people, um, for their environment, and this is going to be good. If you had a situation with a Virgo, uh, and if a Virgo have a situation, I'm seeing this situation in your environment, people around you, this is going to heal, okay? Tauruses who are in love, I'm seeing you need to communicate uh, um, this. Um, if you're a Taurus and you're in love, communicate. I'm seeing also this is in the house of... Uh, um, some of you, if your parents are Taurus, um, they're going to be, um, you know, letting you know how much they, they love you and family is going to let you know how much they love you. Okay. Then we have an issue with a situation. And I said the North Node has to do with family, um, your, you know, your kids or your parents because their bloodline. Definitely there is a situation where a family might be coming back, a healing for a kid and a family because um, it's as if they're saying, oh, um, you know, we're coming over for Christmas or can we come over for Christmas? That sort of a thing. The ascendance, the ascendance, okay? Um, the ascendance and the outlook at work. I'm seeing news is coming in. The ascendance and the outlook at work. I see news is coming in. Whatever is happening and transpiring, I see news is coming in about work and the ascendance. Uh, the end to the Gemini and secrets. The end to the secrets. If you are in a relationship with a Gemini, I'm seeing the end with the Geminis and the secrets. And I see that a Gemini has hold some secrets. Um, and the end to whatever secrets this Gemini old, whatever that was going on, you decided to balance this situation out. I'm seeing that there is changes for a Pisces but um positive changes with you and a pisces so in your intimate house you have some luck um with a pisces and you need to make a decision you need to make a decision there is some changes coming in for a pisces and you need to make some decision okay so you're at a crossroad with a pisces a lot of luck is coming in where if you're in a relationship with a pisces it's going to be very lucky and you guys are, are completely connected to each other i'm seeing um 
at the heart and um, rose and the end of a, a, a situation with an Aquarius. Okay, so luck. You are going to be having some luck because a Cancer wants to heal a situation and you are going to be having some luck. So as I said, um, some of you could have um, connected with a Cancer. It could be a girlfriend. It could be a friend or something like this. This person tried to ruin your reputation and then all of a sudden this person wants to reconnect with you and be a friend. And you're going to say, no, I have no time. When I invited you, um, you didn't have any time you used, uh, you know, don't, don't just, no, do not let this person close to you in your life again. Let them be. Okay. Heal that shit and said, it's good. You apologize. Bye. That's it. Um, Capricorns watch out about money. Okay. So somebody's you know capricorns there is something because saturn is in your reputation and i'm seeing this could be bringing you a lot of money saturn is in your reputation and this could be bringing you a lot of money and as usual i want to know what is happening with saturn in your reputation you capricorns the rest of you capricorns are going to be helping you with your reputation capricorns could be helping you guys to make a lot of money also right so Capricorn, Saturn, and the fish. What is this all about? Capricorn, Saturn, and the fish. What is this all about? Okay. So the Queen of Cups. Some, some of you are dealing with the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is very deceptive. Okay. The Queen of Cups tried to ruin your reputation and it's very deceptive. So this Queen of Cups had created some deceptive situation. Whoever this Queen of Cups is, I've created some deceptive situation. All right. And it has to do with money. She wanted some money. So she lied and created some. The King of Cups is in the reverse. Did he knows about that? I'm seeing the King of Cups having conflicts with an corporation and an organization. Okay. Then I'm seeing the truth is coming out and I'm seeing conflicts with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius. I see you having some regrets. So reputation. This is in the house of reputation. Okay. Everything is turned down. Um, family, money, and that sort of a thing. But, but, and this is it. But the love of someone else comes out and is going to um, support you. Okay. The lack of someone else's um, come out and it's going to be supporting you. All right. So that is good. Woo. Capricorn, watch out uh, with your reputation. Okay. Capricorn, watch out with your reputation. Coming to the edge, I am seeing, I told you guys, if you were married um, to uh, Pisces, I'm seeing the Pisces per. If you were married to an Aries and it could be a Pisces, I'm seeing this person returning. I think I want to have a new start. Okay. Whatever is transpiring, I think that this person really, really um, love you. And um, if you had a child with this um, person and is a Sagittarius, I'm seeing them wanting a new start. I'm seeing you bringing an end to a situation, whoever this person and situation is. You're bringing the end to um, this situation, whoever this person is and whatever is transpiring. You're definitely bringing the end to this situation. Okay. So that is really what. All righty. I want to wish you a fabulous, fabulous month. <laughs> Bye.